Blog Talk Radio. You are now tuned into the best, best, best fatherhood radio show in the world. Furthering Fathering Radio Show. It's the Furthering Fathering Radio Show. The, the, the brothers are back in the building. Brother J in NYC and Brother L in the ATL. The, the, the Furthering Fathering Radio Show starts in five. Four, three, two, one. You ready? Let's get the conversation started. I emphasize that if anyone is listening to this as a replay or listening to it live, connect with further and fathering. You will be encouraged. You will be edified. The 20, 30 minutes that we're on the radio chopping it up is nothing compared to the energy and the strength you will receive from men who love you just because you're a man. And then as they get to know you, they speak life to you, they challenge you, they affirm you, and they enable you to be powerful where you're needed, which is good for a family. Brother Derek, you're saying hello. It's not only, uh, it's not only um, good for the child, but I think it's a mandate from God. Um, I think the heart of the Father belongs to men, and God has called us to be that for as many children as we can. So I don't echo everything you said. I'm, I'm, I'm fully on board with that. And I think um, the call is for more men to embrace that truth so that we can begin to rebuild our community, our nation, one family at a time. to have joy, to, to lead humbly, 
to lead wisely, to to have multi uh, multi generational mindset, uh, to know that everything is not going to work immediately, that uh, everything works according to process. Help us to operate and agree with process. Bless us, Lord, to be wise, not in our own eyes, but leading unto you, looking unto you, following you, listening you, listening to you, obeying you as fathers. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Man, I am excited to be alive. Um, This month is Men's Health Month. Men's Health Month. And it's also... We're coming up on Father's Day. So really briefly about men's health month, because I like to be transparent about myself. I have sleep apnea, and I have I rarely get the amount of sleep I'm supposed to get um, because I have an active mind, and I'm always thinking, I'm always being creative. Um, I'm always looking into things to, that are creative. So um, and, and, and that puts me at peace while I'm awake. But I rob myself of the amount of sleep that I'm supposed to have. It says that a man between 24 and 60 in his 60s should get between seven and nine hours of sleep. As a matter of fact, it says in, in an article I read earlier that if you're only sleeping six hours, it is equivalent to not sleeping at all, that it is like someone who stays up for two days. If you, if you sleep for six hours a night for two weeks straight, it is equivalent to staying up two straight days. So uh, it's incumbent upon us as dads so that we, as we think gener- uh, generationally, and we want to be a blessing to our children and our children's children. We want to be able to be granddad who picks up the grandkids um, and, and not just pick them up in the car, but pick them up with our arms. Um, and if they're older than that, arm wrestle them, um, even race them if we, if we have a good enough heart. But And even if they're older than that, give them wisdom. Um, but But it's important that we get the proper amount of sleep so that our bodies uh, rejuvenate, so that uh, our minds are put at some semblance of ease, so that that we can be effective and strong and wise in the next day. Um, I, I hope that the dads out here hear that seven to nine hours of sleep. Get your rest. Get your rest. Now Father's Day is coming up on on Sunday, and we you um. I have I have my Father's Day card here that I have to mail out like immediately so he gets it on time, but but uh, my father is the, like the picture of health right now. Uh, this is a man who was overweight when he was younger, but uh, he changed his diet to I mean he's beyond vegan. I don't even know what to call it. Um, uh, uh, he doesn't even want to eat onions. It's just certain there's certain fruits and vegetables that he won't eat. <laughs> Um, uh, but the man is is very healthy. He's very strong, very fit, and um, I want to take after him in that aspect of life. That my physical uh, health is strong. He's also a quiet and, and cerebral man, and I want to honor my father, who was the silent partner of Further and Father, and with Lamont and I uh, back in the formulation of Further and Father, when you had to have quorum in the creation, you had to have at least three people, um, it was Lamont and I who were doing the, the actual further and farther and work, but to allow it to go past through uh, the state and do what we needed to do, our third um, uh, person was my father, uh, uh, and I thank him for allowing us to, to operate in our gifting and dreams, um, and I love him. So uh, that's, and I hope that um, whether you have a good relationship or not with your father, that you spend some time um, uh, honoring fatherhood, um, uh, honor the fathers in your sphere, um, because uh, I was talking to uh, Dean uh, Redman over at Cultural Arts uh, Cent- uh, Academy yesterday. Uh, we'll be having we'll, there'll be a father son extravaganza on Friday between two thirty and four thirty. 
and uh, brothers like the esteemed Rodney Patterson and so many others will be there to to to, to honor fatherhood because uh, uh, as per uh, Dean Redmond, the fathers there are are, are burgeoning with uh, with potential that they are active and we want to encourage a, a joint activity because one can chase a thousand and two can send ten thousand to flight. You can do exponentially more when you team up and do together. So um, we're looking forward to uh, uh, Friday when we get together, and um, we uh, we want you to come on out. It's at 1400 Linden Boulevard in Brooklyn, New York. That's 1400 Linden Boulevard, the uh, the old CLC Center. Uh, you know, CCC is now on on um, on, on Louisiana, and and, and um, we we want you to come out to the old site, uh, which is now the uh, Cultural Arts Academy, fourteen hundred Linden Boulevard, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, so come on out. Uh, you can you can hit us up at www.furtheringfathering.org or uh, email us at info at furtheringfathering.org for, for, for more info or even call us at 888-380-3370 or you can even call the Cultural Arts Center at 718-683-3300 for more information. So I'm going to let the caller that I have on the line, and I hope it's a who I think it is, um, <laughs> my brother, uh, my nine, brother, ninety-seven, sixty-four. How you doing, my brother? <laughs> hey, hey, what's up? This is this is your boy you just talking about, Derek Redman. Dean Redman. I know, Dean I Dean know. Dean know. Dean That's what I'm talking about. My brother, how are you? <laughs> oh, I am excited to be alive. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. And yes, we did. We had a nice, wonderful talk yesterday concerning our brothers, our men. You know, and just bringing them together and honoring them. That's a wonderful thing, like the, like you said, honor. Uh, we start yes. by honoring them, and, you know, it, it gives them a sense of belonging and love. You know, that's that's how we got to get to our brothers. You know, so what we're yes. having Friday, um, uh, it's a blessing that you're part of it, a major part of it, because, like I said uh, yesterday, I'm looking forward to get this ball rolling to, you know, have this relationship where well, we could build our manhood and our fatherhood, you know, in our school and, and in, the, in the community. Um, not too many yes. schools are doing things like this. So, you know, we're sort of trailblazers, you know. So it's an honor just doing it with you, brother. So thank you. Thank you uh, so much. Love love you and thank you, brother. Um, it, 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 I, almost, I didn't want to leave. If I didn't have to go home and meet up with my daughter, uh, <laughs> I would I, I, still, I, still, I'd still be there now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what, brother? You know, I don't know who's listening. This brother came out in a storm and rain to um to just come meet and talk and and plan for Friday. So I thank you for that too, brother. It's all love. It, it and and uh, it's a worthy cause. You, you're a man Absolutely. of honor and and and, and, and e- easily done. <laughs> easily Absolutely. done. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. I, but I just want to give a shout out, uh, uh, a thank you to my brother, Doctor. Honorio and brother Rodney Patterson. Um, those are my brothers. Those are our brothers. But you know, yes. um, they 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 enlightened me to you, and you know, they they was the bridge to this relationship. So I just thank God for them. I just let thank you for letting God use them. So, amen. Uh, I, I, yeah, I love I love those brothers. They're 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 yeah. they've spoken it to me so many times, and um, the the wisdom still resonates. I love them, and, and I'm so thankful uh, that uh, I, I've met and know them. So um, I, uh, I look forward to I look forward to to Friday, um, mm-hmm. and, and we're, we're you know now I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. You know we just sure. talked about we we talked about a little bit about men's health ourselves yesterday, but mm-hmm. yeah. uh, I def I. I definitely want to get into since we're almost halfway through the show, which is surprising. Right. <laughs> um, <Yep. laughs> uh, I definitely want to get into the NBA Finals because Absolutely. you know we like to be a little diverse in in uh, yeah. and maybe we'll finish up with the men's health. So right. there was a, 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 a there were a few dynamics that I noticed 
um, in in the game yesterday between Golden State and Toronto, and uh, uh, regarding and, and we know that uh, here in New York, and, and both of us are in New York for the listening audience around the world, because uh, we and we say what's up to Australia because they listen to us in London and yep. and India and Pakistan and in Africa. Up, uh, we, yeah. We're thankful for our listeners around the world, but but. Uh, we, NBA is global anyway, and yeah. um, KD, Ke- Kevin Durant. <laughs> we were looking forward because it's funny how okay. someone who who mm-hmm. operates in a in a completely different sphere can give your local community hope. Uh, we were looking okay. forward for the opportunity because KD's father and KD KD's businesses. Are 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 New York centric, and Absolutely, yeah. uh, and, and he even bought a, a place to live here in New York. Yep. So we were looking forward for just the opportunity for him to be a New York Nick and to see him yeah. go down. And I immediately knew it was the Achilles because he didn't grab his calf. Yep. He grabbed his Achilles, yep. and, and 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 I and I I think if Lamont were on the line right now because we had an event. A few years ago, where he blew out his Achilles, and um, yeah, and it takes a while to recover from that. And uh, nine to 10, but nine to 12 months. Uh, I'm thankful for Lamont's healing, and I'm looking forward mm-hmm. to KD's healing. And um, yes. um, that's one aspect. Another aspect mm-hmm. is sometimes our, we can uh, be unified. And even mm-hmm. and as a leader, we jump out and disrupt the process. Absolutely. And Toronto was in the process of victory. Mm-hmm. And the coach, and I said it last night, and my son is, is my witness, I said it, that was the most <laughs> dumb timeout I've ever seen. They were on a roll. No point. Yep. <laughs> They were Why on a roll. Yeah. Why do yeah. you stop momentum? And sometimes as dads, we have to catch ourselves yeah. in the midst, uh-huh. even mm-hmm. in our families, where yeah. there is momentum and joy, and we become, uh, as the world calls, a buzzkill. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. 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 So sometimes there's a time... Sometimes God has organized chaos going on so there can be elevation. And we come in with what we call order and disrupt <laughs> victory. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, okay. Leave it. Exactly. That's the power of patience. Sometimes the thing doesn't need to be fixed. Right away. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't need to be fixed at all. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You think it'll be, it needs to be fixed, but the reality is, no, it doesn't need to be fixed. That was a horrible timeout, especially because basketball is a game of ebbs and flows. It's a game of run. They were on a run. You do not stop a run by no means necessary unless it's an injury, and that's it. Maybe if you're up by 20-something. I don't care. Maybe. Not if in the finals. Not in the finals. Not in the finals. No, you don't take chances. Like Golden State? No. You got Not to against Golden Ford. State. You say, okay. Yeah, exactly. Nope. They can shoot themselves back I'll, into that, yeah. right? Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You kill them. You have Absolutely. to know your you know. opponent. Yes, you have to. Those guys are deadly. They strike quick and persistent. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and you see what happened. And you see what happened because of that time. What happened? Exactly. They got cold. They got yeah, cold. Very cold. Yeah. Yep. And, and it gave and the, the time. The, and oh, and they had a chance to adjust. Mm-hmm. They they, they yep. took they took uh, uh, Quinn out. They put mm-hmm. Draymond yep. on 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 uh, on uh, Kawhi. Yep. You mm-hmm. a lot. It's almost like the the Matrix. If you don't get to that phone, things change. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> if, Absolutely. if you don't, if you stop momentum, 
things will change, and you now you're forced to adjust. You right. you stop for a rest, and the enemy stops to strategize. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and, especially if you're going against a champ, a champ mm-hmm. they've been there, done that. Yep, they've been there, there, done that. And I, I remember. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. You remember? Go ahead. I, 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 as my children were growing up, I have four children, three adults and one yes. twelve-year-old. My wife and I. Yes. And I remember the older, the older ones when they were younger. They. I learned not to say anything to them when everything was going perfect. You know, sometimes yes. you can disrupt. Like you say, you don't even realize. But, you know, in, in, in my experience, I'm speaking of my experience, sometimes you can interrupt with encouragement, you yes. know, because sometimes they don't realize how great they're doing, and they're they just going and going. And you, and, you know, sometimes you just watch them and let them keep going because if you stop yes. them and say, hey, you're doing a great job, such and such, now they're thinking, like, wait, hold on. And before, they were just going on natural instinct. So you, you right. have to read. You have to read. You have to read the Spirit. You have to have discernment. Use the things that God yes. gives you. And so sometimes you just let them go, and you watch. Watch the, the process. The process is wonderful to watch. Yes. It's wonderful. You, 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 the, Even when they make a mistake. Watch how yes. they come out of those mistakes and readjust and recuperate. Yes. You put it in them. You Absolutely. already put it in them. Absolutely. Trust that the seed that you trust that the seed that you've planted in water will bear fruit. Mm-hmm. Have faith in what God gave you to give them. Absolutely. Have faith in what God <laughs> gave you to give them. Uh, uh, and, and and don't be the buzzkill. Don't be the one, no. the party pooper. Absolutely. Unless unless they they're going completely sideways away uh, uh, and, and, and rebellious and completely antithetical to their purpose mm-hmm. to 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 God's purpose to the family's mm-hmm. purpose then mm-hmm. you, know, you know then you have to in, you have to interject because Absolutely. silence is not golden it can be a, a, a an unintentional um uh, uh, acceptance of what's unacceptable. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. I think so, it's okay. So you you have to pick your spots. You have to pick your spots. Um, uh, unfortunately, Nick Nurse picked the wrong spot. Yeah, <laughs> and, and this, is why, this spot. is why this is why coaches like Phil Jackson was great because I remember the Chicago years, the Laker years, and when he came back, he watched them. Even when they were yes. failing, when they were going yes. through crisis, he didn't call time out. Yes. He's like, okay, you're going to work yourself out of it. You're exactly. going to work yourself out of it. And nine times out of ten, what would happen? They would work themselves out of it and get the ball rolling again. He watched. Exactly. He understood the process, exactly. the ebb and flow. He understood the mistake, and this is what happened. But you got to watch yes. them come out. Patient. Be patient. Yes. Especially when you're winning. <laughs> yes. And, and, and yeah, so. if you're and if your victory mindset have a victory mindset, you're not just noticing the execution of your team. Right. You're noticing right. the defeat, right. the the, the uh-huh. slump shoulders. Uh-huh. As Kawhi was going in on Clay Thompson, his shoulders uh-huh. started slumping. Mm-hmm. He had no, absolutely Nothing. no Nothing. way of stopping him. Yep. And he was resigned to the fact that this may have been the last game of the season. It was on their yep. face. Yep. And he didn't read that. Reading nope. is fundamental for, 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 for absolutely. leadership. Absolutely. <laughs> Reading is fundamental. Absolutely. You got to <laughs> read the moment. Read the people. Read. Yep. Yeah. You're absolutely right. I love this. I love this talk. Oh my! You have another call. I want to be respectful because I can do this all night. No, 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 no. Actually, actually, I, I, we have listeners. We don't have. We don't. We, we don't have a, a lot of callers today. <laughs> so okay. Um, okay, great. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. It goes so, back to reading. Um, you know, that's how it correlates. I remember another um, Laker, Kobe Bryant, and he will yeah. always stress read, read what the defense is getting, read, 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 read. Look at what's ha- look at yeah. what's happening. And then allow it to develop, and then you can control whatever you read because you see it. It's the same yes. thing with fatherhood. It's the same thing with manhood. Just relax yes. and read. Don't panic. Don't 
try to disrupt something. Just leave it sometimes. Yes. And, and, and your nervousness uh, trickles down. Right. They, in now, their mind, in their mind, they're saying we're up, and we're starting uh-huh. to put it on them. Mm-hmm. Why is he stopping us? Yeah. Why? It, are we doing something wrong? Wrong. And once you're in, <laughs> <laughs> and once you get that in your head, you you start to overcalculate, and Absolutely. that that contributed to their shot being off at uh, after that point. They only scored two points after that, and that two point was actually yep. the um, the um, uh, uh, goaltending. Uh, goaltending. It was a goaltending. Yeah, that was if he They did. didn't actually put the. They, yep, and, 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 mm-hmm. and they didn't actually put the ball in the basket. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. And you you know what? You know who's the greatest reader of them all? Imagine if God <laughs> coached the way um, yeah. <laughs> Nurse did yesterday. <laughs> you know, stop our momentum. <laughs> he knows what's going to happen. He knows already. Yes. But just imagine yes. if he, you know, like, hold on, wait a second. You know, no, no, he watched how things unfold <laughs> because he gave us the freedom of choice. And he understands, especially those who are his followers, what's ingrained in them. Yes. And if we follow him, we're not going to make mistakes that'll take us somewhere we wouldn't we shouldn't be. Because he's always there. Right. He's always in our ear. He's always in our spirit. So our steps will be anointed steps. Yes. And, God, and, is, and even, God is the greatest I, coach of them all. <laughs> a, amen. Yes. Matter of fact, he can take your mistakes and flip them. He can Absolutely. take the, 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 the parts of things that people don't like about you Absolutely. and use it as the seed for something yeah. great to even protect them later. Right now, I'm 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 in the in the back end of Genesis, and Joseph didn't have to tell his brother his dream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they they thought he was being favored already. He didn't right. have to tell him uh-huh. his dream, but because what? he did tell him the, the dream, he put them in the position for them to exile him. <laughs> Absolutely. But his exile. Put him in, ended up, and his uh, uh, and his right uh, his upright, upstanding uh, nature, put him in a, a, a position where he would be tempted, t- turn away from temptation, mm-hmm. be wrongfully jailed, still mm-hmm. be able to use the ability to read dreams, mm-hmm. and that put him in a yep. position so that when there was famine, he was put in power, and he was not only to a blessed to be in power in Egypt, he was able to to bring his family out of Canaan and into Absolutely. protection. Absolutely. So God can use our mistakes. He can use our mistakes. Don't as if you're a dad out there and you've and you've messed up in any way, shape, or form, um, or someone has done evil to you, like like Joseph's brothers did evil to him. When he when he met up with them again, he said, "You didn't do this to me. God allowed this. What you meant for evil, God meant for good. What you meant for evil, God. Now, the mistake that Nurse made, I I don't know if there's going to be a game seven. I have the feeling that they're going to close them out in six. That's just the feeling. Wow. And uh, <laughs> I don't think he's going to make the same mistake again. He's going to let them out wow. and allow them to dominate. Uh, and wow. and I think Kawhi is going to have a big game. I could be wrong, but but we're down to the last minute of the show. So I just want to say one thing we, before we go up. Yes. Brothers, let God turn your mess into a message. That's all I want to say. Oh, that, oh, that's powerful. Yes, let him turn your mess into a message. Let him tur- turn your test into a testimony. Absolutely, um, amen. Amen. So we hope you come out with us. And, and 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 I wish Lamont was on because he had a phenomenal time over in in Atlanta teaching our heart curriculum mm-hmm. uh, to, to to various leaders and pastors over there in Atlanta, and that was phenomenal. But if you can, come on out this Friday, 2.30 to 4.30, 1400 Linden Boulevard. 
Central Arts Center. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this incredible time as you coach us and teach us to lead and train us up in the way so that we can train up our generations in the way they should go. You are furthering fathering. You are elevating fathers. You are empowering families, and you're transforming communities through the principles you've given us, which form the word heart, honor, encouragement, accountability, reconciliation, and training. We thank you, Lord, for your great love towards us. You are the ultimate Father, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Until next week, we love you. Amen. Amen.